We have Richard here. Richard is uh, very young, so he's a very special case for us because um, uh, he's lost his teeth when he was very young for a number of reasons. Um, but uh, what happens when you lose your teeth is that you also lose your bone. And uh, he had such limited bone that the options for him were, uh, were so limited uh, that the only option that he was given was to have dentures. Uh, but he had many issues with his number of dentures that he's had over the years. Uh, he couldn't wear them. Uh, and eventually he came to see us and uh, we developed a treatment plan for him using Zygoma implants. Tell me a little bit, Richard, about uh, what was uh, your experience like with your dentures? Um, yeah, with my dentures, it was shocking, like um, always coming loose and you know, things like that and just, yeah, having to keep them in with the polydent. And, yeah. and uh, how, how was eat, what was chewing and eating like with the dentures? Yeah, not too good. Like they'd sort of flap around quite a lot and yeah, it was hard to sort of eat and very bulky in your mouth. It used to make me um, gag and feel like throwing up and it just it made me very self-conscious because it was, I could feel it and they looked very sort of prominent. Yeah, and, and I guess the chewing and the uh, eating, I mean, there were a lot of things that you couldn't eat. Is that right? Yeah, definitely, yeah. Tell me, one of, what, are, what are the things that you found stri that you struggled with dentures? What are the basic things that you thought, oh, I really regret not being able to do that or to eat that? Um, I guess from what I remember of eating with my normal teeth, um, probably biting into an apple and stuff like that, you know, like, yeah. Was that, that was something that was impossible? Yeah, it was just, yeah, it was, yeah. They just come out basically. So you had your teeth removed, and then you had dentures fitted, and then you had a number of sets over the years. Yeah, I had quite a uh, yeah quite a few different sets. Um, my gums were constantly shifting, yeah. and um, I'd often lose them and things like that. You lose your dentures. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's a common thing because they're not fixed in your mouth; they're just loose. So it's uh, it's kind of hard to keep them, and if you put them somewhere, you can lose yeah. them just yeah. looking and lose your car keys. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. What about uh, being in public and uh, participating in sports or different activities? How did that make you feel when you had your dentures? Yeah, very self-conscious. Like, um, I'd hardly smile or talk to anybody. You know, like, um, I've been like that for, yeah, a long time. Mm. Yeah. Basically, every dentist I went to, they told me because my bone, the, there's not much of it there to actually, you know, um, put, put the actual implants into that they said I'd, I'd, probably, I'd find it hard to get them and pretty much dentures was my only option. Richard's case was, uh, was particularly difficult because of the bone loss that he's had uh, over the years. Uh, so we've used uh, Zygoma implants for you and we ended up putting two Zygoma implants on each side and another midline implant uh, for additional support. Uh, and in the lower, we actually did the opposite. So instead of putting uh, five implants or four implants in the lower, we just did three implants because also because of the nerves and the bone situation in the lower. Uh, at the moment, it's still very early on, uh, but it's, it seems to be working very well. Do you remember the day, how what it felt like when you had the teeth put in? Um, it actually felt very natural, to tell you the truth. Give me a smile. It was great, eh? Very natural. Beautiful, beautiful, man. Yeah. Really nice. Thank you so much. You can taste it, alright? Yeah. yeah, it's good. Mate, they work well. <laughs> they work well? Yep, yeah. <laughs> nice, beautiful. Yeah, it was really weird. Like, and when you said to have something to eat, I was like, yeah, are you sure? You know, like, <laughs> and I was like, um, yeah, but they've been great, you know, like. That first time when I gave you a, it was one of those rolls that I gave you to bite into, yeah. you were quite surprised that you were actually able to do that. Yeah, yeah, true. Was, and and was, there was no movement. Was great it. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was great. Yeah. yeah, and it was nice. It was just before Christmas, so yeah, must have enjoyed your Christmas a little bit more than other years. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah. 
and like yeah, the healing's been like awesome too. Like I don't know, like yeah, I'm just yeah very thankful you know to have it done. Was the surgery painful? Um, not at all. Like because I was put under and everything, um, it was very quick. Like I woke up and it was done. You know, like um, the pain afterwards was very minimal. Obviously, a bit of swelling and stuff like that. But apart from that, it was great. It was all right. You know? mm. You had the templates put in even on the same day as your surgery. Yeah. And what did it feel like to actually walk in with dentures or no teeth mm. and then walking out on the same day with some teeth? Yeah, it was unbelievable. Yeah, like the process was so quick that I didn't even have time to sort of, you know, process it. So, yeah, yeah it was yeah, pretty cool. And then the next day you come in and you get your final teeth and they look like another step yeah. better. Yeah, no, it was yeah, unbelievable. And that's what you're wearing now, yep. right? The teeth that were inserted. Yep, and how long has it been since? So it's been not uh, even not even four months. Yeah. Four months. Yeah. 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 With your dentures, you couldn't wear them for a long time, and you you actually didn't wear them. Mm. So how did it feel, like how your face looked and all that sort of stuff, compared to what it feels now? Yeah, I look. It became very like my cheeks were very sunken, and you know, my, my my nose was nearly touching my chin. Type of thing it was horrible. And you know, when I ate, it was you know. That Mrs. McGillicuddy look sort of thing, yeah. and um, yeah, like it's changed my whole face. Like, um, I've got like my cheek veins back again, and it's my jawline, so it's better. Yeah, yeah. And you've got you've got a proper yeah. uh, vertical dimension or profile yeah. where you, there's a stop, as as there's meant to be. Yeah. When you chew, there's a stop. It doesn't just continue yeah. closing yeah, exactly, until yeah. it touches your nose, like yeah. you, like you said, yeah. yeah. Exactly, yeah. I, did, I didn't. Re- I didn't think it was going to be this good. Um, I'm just. I'm very. I'm so glad I did it. And um, yeah, the team that you guys have got is is amazing. Thank you. Yeah, so during this four months, uh, you've been slowly getting used to them. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And uh, how do you find chewing and eating? I've been very careful of what I eat because I've, I've been told that not to eat anything too hard for this period of time. Four months. Yeah. Yeah. So it's reaching to that time now where you can start eating everything and biting into apples and carrots. Now, when you had the state that you had with your dentures, yeah. you would think it'll never be possible to bite no. into an apple. No, definitely. Yeah. No. But it feels like solid in your mouth now. Your teeth yeah. feel like you're right, right? Yeah, definitely. Do you feel like you can bite into an apple? Yeah, definitely, yeah. Yeah? I think my jaw's like gotten used to it enough to be able to bite it, yeah. 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 Do, have you given it a try yet? No. It's been four months, so it's time to give it a go, eh? Yeah, true. Yeah. yeah. Let's get him an apple. <laughs> Let's get him an apple. All right, you go, it's nothing. Yeah. <laughs> Went through it? Yep. Is that something that you definitely couldn't do that before, eh? No, absolutely not. Yeah, definitely not. How does it feel first time being able to do that? Yeah, good. Yeah. yeah. And uh, well, now you can look forward to all the other types of food that you couldn't eat before, so yeah, that's good. great. Mm-hmm. Richard is uh, one of those special cases that's particularly rewarding, especially because there really aren't all that many options that can give him function back, that can give him back the enjoyment uh, you know, for eating and for talking and for being in public. Uh, and, and the way that uh, it can be done is using zygoma implants. It's a much more advanced treatment, but it really allows us to give people like Richard the ability to function normally again. Well, thank you very much for your time. I really appreciate your time coming and sharing your story with us. And I'll see you around. Make sure you come every yeah. three, four months so we can have a check, yeah. you know, say hi. and. Yeah, cool. We'll look and, and look after them, most yeah, of all. Definitely. All right, yeah. and enjoy your food now. Enjoy your, your, your life, life. Basically, and, yeah. Yeah.